Hello there, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas, cats and dogs, and all you peanut butter sandwiches out there. It's Teacher Paul here, coming at you today with a new LEGO ESM video. Today, we are going to be making this amazing contraption. It is a catapult. Can you see how it's going to work? On our catapult, we have a big drive gear here and a small driven gear right here. When I pull down on the handle, the lever will move up. And it's going to move up very, very quickly. And then it will be able to shoot out this projectile. Let's see it in action. Three, two, one. Fire! Incredible. Now catapults come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Here you can see an example of a trebuchet, which was a catapult used a long, long time ago. Another type of catapult is where you pull back on a rubber band and release. Oh. That didn't work out so well for her. This catapult is a little bit difficult to build. Do you want to see how we do it? Okay, let's go. So as you can see, we have so many pieces that we need to use to build our catapult. I have a big green base. I have long red bricks. I've got long blue axles short blue axles and a green axle as well. All of these are going to come together to make our amazing Lego catapult. Let's get started. So here is our green base plate. And I'm just going to put two yellow plates on either end here. We're going to connect those Lego plates like so. just like that, to get them all connected into place. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now, working across the top, we're going to use some bricks to build up our wall. Just like this, and up we go. Now on one side, we're going to use the long red brick, like that. And on the other side, we're going to use a short red brick. Just like so. Now the next thing we need to do is we are going to get our lever, our lift arm into place. To do that is a little bit tricky. I'm trying to make it easy for you guys to see here. First of all, you're going to take a long blue axle and you're going to place it into hole, the middle hole on the long red beam, the middle hole there. Now, when you're getting that into place, you need to take a yellow handle piece, lift up the lift arm, put it in, and slot it down so that the axle is held in place. Just like this, here. So now that we have that, it's time to make our, make our handle. So I'm gonna take a big gear, and I'm going to put my big gear into position here, here. <laughs> then, using my green axle, I come through like this and put a yellow bushing on one side. There we go, that's perfect. Put a yellow bushing on the other side and now we get our handle. Now we're going to be pulling it down this way. So I want this handle to kind of point up 
because that's going to hold the yellow beam in place so that I can pull it like so. So make sure that that handle is pointing up when the lift arm is down. So I slot that into place, take another handle on the other side that's going to secure our handle. And then there we go. We have a working catapult. Now just to make it a little bit better at shooting, I'm gonna make sure that the catapult cannot move past 90 degrees. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring it back here a little bit so that when it finishes moving, it's still pointing up. That means when we fire, it will be able to fire the projectile further. So there you go, guys. That's how we build our catapults. So there you have it, guys. That is our catapult from our ESM box. Remember, it has a big lever for its handle, turning a large drive gear and a small driven gear. When you pull down on the handle, the firing arm will go up very, very quickly which allows the projectile to be fired forward through the air. Let's do one more test fire. Three, two, one, fire! I think I broke my catapult.